A 4th of July boat ride could have ended in tragedy for a group out in the Chesapeake Bay. But thanks to some good Samaritans who are also good mariners, seven people made it safely off of a sinking boat. Ten of your sides, Lex Gray is live with the story new at five. Lex. Yeah, Nicole and Tom, this is where a charter boat called the Judith Ann was headed back to after watching some fireworks on the 4th of July. But then the boat's captain spotted some frantically waving lights and found a sinking boat with a pregnant woman, kids, and not enough life jackets on board. I definitely will say I do believe the good Lord had his hand upon everything that evening. And some good boaters in the water. Captain Justin Wiley and his first mate Thomas Schultz say it's either good luck or the good Lord who put a sinking boat right in their path Saturday night. People could have drowned, killed, ended up on the rocks. But instead, the seven people on board ended up dry and safe on a charter boat. Marine police say the smaller boat had been anchored off Ocean View to watch fireworks. When a storm rolled in, they headed back for Hampton already too late. They took three waves over the bow of the boat and then it just filled up like a tub. By the time Wiley and Schultz got there, they say only about six inches of the boat were above the water. It was pitch black. We could barely see them yelling. Couldn't figure out what to do. I didn't know what was going on. The flooded boat had been there for about an hour with no power and their cell phones and some life jackets lost in the water. We pulled them up and uh, we threw out two life rings, got them to tie around the vessel, pulled it in close. Uh, right when we got it in close, we got the two little girls that were on there. Pulled those in, uh, got uh, dry clothes on them. By the time we were done, we had everybody up, dry, safe. For these rescuers, it's just another day on the water. All mariners, that's what we're supposed to do. We're out there on the water, supposed to look out for each other. The Coast Guard and VMRC also responded and they were able to tow that boat back to land. Captain Wiley and his first mate say this is a great reminder for everyone not to just have those life jackets on board, but also to wear them. Fortunately, in this case, everyone made it out safely. Live in Norfolk, Lex Gray, 10 on your side.